Well, every day we wake up and as Martin Luther King said, by the time we finished our breakfast, we've relied on half the world. And it's really important to remember that behind everything is everything we do, everything we eat, everything we buy is a person. And I'm coming from the northern, southern side of India called Kerala. And the northern side of Kerala, there's a, a small uh, agricultural district called Wayanad. We are uh, farming there mostly coffee, spices and uh, fruits. As an office, it's really important that we use opportunities to demonstrate how small actions can contribute to being globally responsible. So during Fair Trade Fortnight, it's a great opportunity to, in a fair trade nation, the world's first, to have somebody over to, who can speak directly and, and explain to us how fair trade impacts the thousands of farmers around the world. Mostly this premium is, is utilizing for uh, rainwater harvesting programs. And then uh, the same rainwater is using for uh, irrigation and so on. Then for uh, education purposes of the kids, then for uh, uh, renovation of the houses or uh, construction of new houses where the farmers are in a, some of the farmers are in a very poor condition where they are not uh, living they do not have a good house for uh, living so in that situation this uh, fair trade is intervening in that situation and bringing changes to their life A responsible agriculture is ensured, an ethical sourcing is ensured, a responsibility to the environment is ensured, then addressing the education of the children that is ensured. So once a person uh, decides to procure or purchase a uh, fair trade product, he should have a reason and that reason he can he can very well uh, trace it out till the end. That means he can go direct up to the farming level. So if a person is procuring a uh, fair trade uh, labelled product, he is moving along with the farming community. At the moment, the £6 billion that we spend here in Wales, we don't know how much of that is spent on fair trade. I'd li really like to know that. And it's a question I think we should be asking our public bodies. The young people in Wales are coming through school now, learning about what fair trade means, and they are turning into adults that have not known life without fair trade, and they are making the right purchases. So for them, I think we need to up a gear, and I think our public sector needs to to look at what the future generations are telling us, what the future looks like and plan for it. And fair trade is a brilliant way to demonstrate and balance you know, sustainable development, but securing that we have goods and services for the future that reflect the values of Wales.